Westminster Faith Debates actually provide a format where people can come together of faith and of no faith, or people just interested in understanding more about faith and religious literacy, can come right in the heart of London and be able to uh, consider big issues and see the part that uh, religion has to play in the world today. Religion can be an integral part of uh, development, but it needn't be. Um, I think everybody's got values, whether you're religious or not religious, you've got values of some kind. And as came out in the debate, some people uh, come at it from um, wanting to be compassionate, and others come, from, as I do, from a, a question of uh, social justice and international justice and economic justice and that kind of stuff. It depends what you mean by justice. I mean, I think it's justice that we uh, have people who have every uh, access to uh, food, to security, but is justice also that they have the same level of lifestyle as that we have here in the West, which is unsustainable? So we have to look at justice from our side as well and say, well, how are we going to live in a sustainable world where you cannot burn fossil fuels as if there's no tomorrow, use materials as if there's no tomorrow. It's just not sustainable. When we're talking about what is just, what, what should people have within their lives, how should people be treated or how should people be perceived, it is something that's very important. And charity, you know, there is a movement away from that word charity. And I think that that's actually quite right because people don't need to be given charity, but they need to be given a sense of justice within their lives so they feel empowered within themselves to take on their own lives and actually do what they want with it. Religion, religion has an integral part to play in, in development, as it does with virtually every aspect of life and society. And uh, I think there was a range of opinions on the panel, and I think that was uh, reflected in some of the questions which were asked and the responses to those, uh, which made it a very informed discussion. Um, my question that I asked was about um, if religion plays a role in conflict, then do development agencies who are trying to address that conflict need to address religion as well? And I think that they do. I don't think that religion can ever be ignored, but I don't think that you have to be a religious organisation to be working in development either. For me, faith can definitely be part of um, a really integral part of development because if we look at a lot of the populations in African countries, for instance, large proportions of them do ascribe to a certain faith. So taking that out of any debate is quite dangerous because if that is the way people live their lives, um, unfortunately, if you're not talking about faith, th those, are, those are the ways that they can practically exhibit their love for other people, justice for other people, and I, th those two were spoken about today. It really is the, the premier forum, really, for discussing these issues, so I wanted to come along.